Inside the mind of a true Sigma for Mr. Resolve. We got another classroom of the Elite video, but it's a parody. Let's see it. I just have to know what's going on in this head of yours, Ayano He's probably looking at the thighs at a reflection from the bus's window because this is a horny Koji. Koji. The class obnoxious as ever. I just can't escape those simpletons' annoying chatter. If you wonder what's going on, the teacher's explaining the rules to this trip, but I'm obviously not listening. As a proud Sigma male, I make my own rules. I'm a lone wolf of sorts. I feel like... Does he ever think like that? I feel like... This is the internal monologue of Hikigai Hachiman in Snafu. Does Anakoji ever think like this? I mean, it, it kind of feels like because of the character so cold, we could see him like this, but I just feel like he's never really considered himself any of the sort, but okay. <laughs> is this it? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Chuckles in delusion. No, this is what like fucking like Kazuma from like Konosuba where someone else, this is straight up Hachiman, man. This is actually Hachiman. <laughs> is this it? Whoa, okay. it's cute. Why did he do Ike's voice acting like that? Is this it? Whoa! <laughs> it's here! It's cute! <laughs> Alright. Wait, don't mistake this for me feeling intimidated or, or being socially awkward. Oh, he actually got this right on point, right? Because he is socially awkward. Sometimes, he just fucking stands in the fucking lunch hall because he doesn't know where to fucking sit, right? He's just like, shit. I've no one to sit and eat food with, right? In the anime, it makes it look like he, he's like a fucking cold robot, but he is super socially awkward. He, he just gets like a panic attack sometimes, right? I just hate having to interact with those, th those betas. After all, Sigma rule number one is thriving. Sigma rule number one is never eat lunch with friends. Remember, you don't have to justify to your mom why eating lunch alone is being called a Sigma, guys. Number one is thrive in being by yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna check the weather app. A Sigma is always prepared and ready after. This is what you do when like you're in like an out, you're, you're like a public situation and like you might see like a group of people that you kind of might know or someone that you don't want to interact with. So you pull up your phone and you fucking scroll. You just open random apps just to feel like you're doing something. Just to feel like you're like it, it's it's to kind of like bypass this awkwardness. That's right. Oh, Sigma like strategy. Hey, Ayana Koji. Oh, oh my God, a girl. Oh, it's Horikita. Uh, no, no, I'm not freaking out. Sigma rule number two and three: uh, never show emotion and don't. Yeah. Miss. That's right. I should just remain silent. Ayana Koji? Should I say something? No, Sigma no. silence. Sigma would never. Wait, that's right. Rule number four. Let your eyes do the talking. <laughs> Let your eyes do the talking. They ain't talking anything, dude. The talking. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you just staring at me? Okay. Cold this Sigma stares. I was just gonna ask about your opinion on the rules. You must have found a loophole, I presume. Sigma rule number five. Always think before you speak. Okay, so she wants to extract invaluable information from me, which I yeah. didn't have because I wasn't listening, using your seductive feminine charms, but but what I shall the not hell falter. To you? That's right. I will Hello? even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Perfect! Sigma rule. <laughs> Valuable information from me, which I don't have because I wasn't listening, using your seductive feminine charms, but but I shall not falter. To you? That's right, I will. Hello? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Cold, cold, I a Koji voice acting. Perfect! Sigma rule number six a Sigma is always shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Flawless execution, I a Koji. Okay, okay. I think she just, I think Horikita thinks we're special now at this point. I'm I can't believe I'm gonna ask you this, but would you like to sit with me at lunch? No. Bait. Yes! I did it! I rejected Horikita! This will only make her want me more according to that Sigma book I bought. What the hell is your- Sigma book you what? You bought? Bro, fucking bought Andrew Tate's Hustlers University courses, man. What the hell is your problem? Why are you being such an ass? I I'm so so- SHIT! I slipped A true Sigma never apologizes, that's right. Stop! Such a rookie mistake! You're so what? what? You're pissing me off! Think, Ayana Koji! What would a Sigma do here? 
Just walk away. Don't explain yourself. Just walk away. I'm so tired from all the work I did last night. Nice! Work can mean so many things. What kind of work would a high school student even be doing? That's it! I'm so mysterious! What, what kind of work are we talking about here? Look at her! You don't want to know. to know it's working! You know what? I don't care. Just one last thing. What was that book in your bag? Book? Yeah. Oh, shit! The book in her bag. Is this something about the equality thing? I forget. This is like all over the place because this looks like it started in season three content, but now it looks like their first time meeting after the exchange after the bus. There was this white wolf on the cover. I think it was something about Sigma Wolf starts a rebellion. Sigma Sigma something. Oh my god. You're gonna take five minutes to respond again, aren't you? My worst nightmare. How did this happen? I fucking hate you. I bought it for a friend. What? Yes! That's good! I don't have any friends. Bruh. Shit! Well, if you really think about it, is Anakoji a Sigma male? Maybe he is. It's pretty funny to kind of like uh, listen to what his inner thoughts as a Sigma might be, but hey, that's a resolve video. Give his video a like. Subscribe to his channel if you did. Maybe we'll check out some other ones. Maybe he has some more videos cooking up, man.